Now, they're Britain's biggest family who last year welcomed their 22nd baby. The Radfords also now have six grandchildren and four dogs. So how do they cope with their supersized brood during lockdown? Well, Sue and Noel Radford join us today with their children as they invite us to be part of their family once again in new series, 22 Kids and Counting. Oh, and the Radford family join us now. Good morning to all of you. It's lovely to see your faces this morning. And Hiya. congratulations on the birth of your 22nd child, baby Heidi, there. And I have to say, Sue, last time you were on here in 2018, <laughs> you said that baby 21 was going to be the last one. What happened? Well, we know what happened. <laughs> Why did you change your mind? <laughs> Oh, we just thought, let's go for another one, and here's mid, but we've definitely reached the last. Yeah, we've both decided now that's it. We're, we're quite happy with what we've got, and we're, we're finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> let, let me, let me just, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you the clip of, uh, and this is when you were last on here, as Holly said, in December 2018. I'm saying definitely no more. Honestly, four under the age of four is really hard work. Yes. There will be no more, will there? No. 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 No, no. no. no more. So, so you've actually pr pretty much said exactly the same words just then. I can't wait to move on now, and no sign of any more. So, you know, maybe that is. Yeah, and she's definitely not feeling broody, so. Well, that, okay, we'll fair that. enough, fair enough. And I wonder whether actually sort of lockdown has played into this a little bit because we know we just had Emma um, who was on and she was talking about how women who were pregnant during lockdown for the whole families, for the father as well. It's just a different experience. How was it for you guys? Yeah, it was very, very different, I must admit. Um, the whole going into hospital and seeing all the midwives and doctors and everybody with their masks on and not being able to go up onto the ward after you've had the baby, having to stay on delivery, and just not being able to have visitors and everything. And everything. Yeah, and the, the other thing we're sort of worried about is whether I would get out of the hospital as well. But um, not really, because you know, I was allowed to be there, which was uh, oh, very you. nice. So. Yeah. How? Uh, <laughs> this was this was never going to be easy. Um, so how how has it been uh, during lockdown for you? Because we we've constantly talked about kids and the screen time and the homeschooling and getting online for whatever online classes there happen to be shortage of uh, of tablets or pads or um, laptops. How how have you coped? Uh, well, the first lockdown was fine because we had the great weather. Uh, the kids could play out, we had a few projects going out in the garden that kept us all busy. But this lockdown is the hard one. Uh, it's really middle of winter, out, so the kids they can't play out uh, We've had to buy five iPads. Five, five iPads. Um, yeah, and, and boost the internet yeah. so we can all get on at the same time. And have, so you, have you managed work. to? Have you managed to keep the uh, the bakery? Because we know that you know everything before anyone uh, uh, jumps on the high horse. Everything is um, funded by the bakery and the pie shop. Yeah. You've managed to keep all that going. Yeah. So at the first lockdown, we shut the shop um, for three months, but we obviously had to be online, and that just went uh, super crazy busy, which was good for us. Um, and it's just been the same since. But now the shop's open again, and it's just we're just very busy. To be honest. Yeah, well, good to hear it. Long may that last. So, you know what? Yeah. I think a lot of parents are worrying about their children at the moment and thinking, God, we just want to get them back to school. They're missing their friends. They're lonely. Um, your kids will never be lonely because they're just surrounded by so much. And God, what a joy that they've all got each other at this time. I know. Well, do you know something? That's exactly what I say. You know, they're never, ever sort of company. They've always got each other. It would be very different if, if they were like, no, you can't. They are all kept busy with each other, which is lovely. But we do worry about the kids not being at school and their mental health and everything. As it's a big thing, isn't it, really? Because they're missing all that time at school. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be long, now. guys. Not long um, now. It's lovely to catch up with you. Take care, everybody. Uh, 22 Kids and Counting is tonight at 9 on Channel 5. Thank Take you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little insight to a family home Zoom call there, didn't yeah. you? What it was like for that lot. <laughs> Who's talking? Who's saying what?